Bandwidth for MacBreak is brought to you by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to MacBreak Dev. And I'm here again with Sal Segoyan. Hey, Sal. Pleasure to see you, as Good always. To see you again. And uh, what are we talking about today? Well, today uh, we're going to continue a conversation we had earlier. Do you remember a couple episodes back where we were talking about? embedding metadata in images, right. and we showed a little desktop droplet created using Automator that would allow you to put caption data and other things inside of your images. Well, today I thought we'd show something about how you can take advantage of that metadata once it's right. in there, and also at the same time show a little bit more about how you can use Automator and how you can develop your own set of actions for Automator. Perfect. So here's an interesting slant on the whole thing, okay. and it begins by visiting the Bay Area Forest Scouts. Which is a place that everyone should visit. So I'm going to type in Bay Area Forest Scouts.org. And uh, this is a little website that we created. It's created using iWeb. Okay. And uh, like a lot of uh, iWeb. Uh, based sites, it has the ability to uh, display a nice collection or albums of images and do slideshows for uh, anybody that wants to see them. This particular one's about, uh, since it's the Bay Area Forest Scouts, it's about the redwood trees that we have in California. Right. And uh, there's a whole album here of incredible images about redwoods. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is create an automator workflow that will extract these larger images from this page, right. based upon the RSS feed of this page, download them to our computer. Without having to do it by ourselves. Without having <laughs> to do it by ourselves. Well, this is automation. And also, here's the twist. Mm -hmm. Import them into Keynote and then extract the caption data from the images, render it as audio, insert it into each slide and play the slide for us. I, don't, I, I just don't know if it's possible. Well, it's totally possible because we also <laughs> on the website have it have the whole procedure See, outlined all here. All websites, all websites that are out there, you just have a little automator. At the end. <laughs> automator and thing then, at oh, the end. Oh, by the way, if you want to take all our files, just click on. By the way, here's how you do it. If, uh, try this at home, kids. <laughs> so there's a couple steps. We already downloaded an automator action for uh, extracting the iWeb photo gallery feed, and then there's another download for uh, adding the image files to a slideshow, and then you create this particular work here, which we'll do right now using Automator. Perfect. And we'll, so we'll launch my favorite guy, Automator. And the dude. We, the dude, the Auto, plan. Auto, yes. the Automator. And uh, we're going to create this workflow, and I'll walk you through the process. So what it's going to do is it's going to, uh, first thing we need to do is identify the web page that we're working with. Okay. So over here on the left side, we're going to click the Internet category, and uh, all of the actions related to Internet use are over here. The first one we're going to do is uh, get current web page from Safari. And that the result of this action will be a URL to the frontmost page website, a right. web page displaying in the Safari application. Then we want to use one of the new actions that we've installed called uh, Extract uh, iWeb Photo Gallery Feeds. And this will get, based upon that page, get the RSS feed that leads to the bigger images. Because the reality is, is that when you see one of those, ga those galleries that I, that that iWeb builds, uh -huh. those are just feeds that, that yeah. are just, just embedded into the into the frame. Yeah. And that's why it can be kind of automated and connected to stuff and everything right. else. Uh, and you can just go and find that, that source feed, right? Yeah, right. yeah, it's a very simple process. And RSS has made it, which stands for really simple syndication, has made it possible for the transfer, easy transfer of data across news networks and everything. But we also right. use it on iWeb to create these wonderful galleries that people really enjoy. Perfect. So once you've gotten that feed, then the next action is uh, one that ships with Automator, and it's called uh, Get Image, uh, no, uh, get image URLs from articles. Now, it does have an optional parameter. You can get the image that are on that article or linked from the article. In this right. case, on the article would be the little thumbnails. And our articles in this case are images. Right. We don't want the uh, thumbnails. We want the ones that are linked, which are the larger ones. Yeah. And then the next step would be to download those 
I'll uh, download them to the uh, pictures folder. And now we'll use the other new action, which is to uh, add those to a slideshow. We'll click the presentations category, and here it is, add image files to slideshow. We'll drag that in. It has two parameters. Do you want to render the embedded caption data as audio files and add them to the slides? Yes, we do. And do you want to play the slideshow that's created starting from the first new slide? Yes, I do. So basically, there's our workflow. Get okay. to the current web page, determine what the RSS feed is, find the images from that RSS feed, download those images to your pictures folder, Import them into your and, keynote slide. Not all images are going to have uh, embedded captions, but we, no. but we added them here because we knew that we could put it into the right. Picture. And uh, that this site, we put the images up there right. with embedded captions. So I'm going to go back to the images page again, mm -hmm. and this is all I need to do now is just to run this workflow, and you can see it starting to process and download. Now that the download's complete, you can see that it's bringing in the images, and it's also rendering the captions to an audio file and placing it on so each slide. Yeah, that's what we're seeing. This yeah. little, this little uh -huh. audio form almost pure stands in some areas, especially on flat, silt-covered river plains. A walking path through the mural. And then you can use the right arrows like I am to fast forward. And, and that's uh, it's Alex, by the way, isn't it? Yep, it's the default yeah. voice, Alex. Yeah. So there's an example of how you can extend Automator's normal abilities by creating a couple actions yourself. And the nice thing is, is when you install those, it also installs the projects. So maybe next time we could take a look at the projects, yeah. see what's involved in actually creating an Automator right, action. These are, because that's what I think a lot of people are interested in, is how do I create one of those things that I can just drag in mm -hmm. in Automator? Uh, but by itself, when you look at, at, at what you can do, uh, this really is just taking something that would take a long time. And, and I think this is the big thing with automation is anything that you look at and go, oh, I have to do this over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. The first thing you should be thinking about is Automator. The second thing you should think about is AppleScript. And the third thing you should think about is Xcode. <laughs> 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 and most of us won't That make works it. for me. Yeah, most it of, all works us, for uh, me. Most of us won't, won't make it all the way to the end. Right. But, uh, but those things are, the, the, all of this stuff is just sitting right in front of us. Right. If it ever crosses your mind, there's got to be a better way, yeah. then you're ready for automation. Perfect. Thanks, Al. Thank you. And thank you for watching Mac Break Dev.